morning everyone. Shaper 1000 here. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. That came out right, didn't it? Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> all you mothers out there. Uh, it's about 8.45 a.m. I'm going to uh, just kind of got my John Deere coming at 1 o'clock. So hopefully it's Hopefully it's not raining too bad. It has been apparently sprinkling this morning. It's supposed to rain all day. As you can see on the vet. Well, maybe not. Maybe you can see on the truck windshield there. So it has has started sprinkling. There you can see it, I think. It has sprinkled a little bit. But it's weird because got raindrops on the truck and on the vet but not on the not on the concrete it's supposed to rain all day so I don't know a little gloomy and gray so so yeah I just thought I'd vlog with you guys for a little bit today at least till I mean I got some room right here I could work on it so <laughs> so we can check it out but uh kind of go over it main thing is I hope it's not locked up if it's not locked up I'm pretty confident I can get it to run however how good it runs I well, I don't know but the story is he took it in to have something else done to it. it was running when he took it in I asked him I said last time you had it run it wasn't knocking he said no he said the engine ran fine. He took it in for something else. They called him and said it wasn't worth putting money into because there were shavings in the uh, in the oil. Metal shavings in the oil. And it didn't run after he got it back. So I don't know what they did to it. Sounds a little fucking... I don't know. Sounds a little screwy to me. You take it in for something else that's running fine. Then they don't want to work on it. And you get your shit back and it doesn't run. You know, something that wasn't even related to the engine. So, I don't know. So, I don't... I have no idea. You know, so... We just have to see. Hopefully, it's not locked up. Because the damn thing, it's not covered up. It's been sent for years. You'll see. When you see it, you, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's pretty rough. Uh, but... I really, I don't know what engine's on it. I really didn't look at it that close that day. I just kind of walked around. I did see it had a big twin cylinder engine. So I don't know what horse it is. Uh, we'll just have to see, you know. So, yeah. So I'm just doing a little vlogging right now. And uh, when it gets here, you'll see it come in and we'll do a rock walk around on it and uh, maybe maybe we can try to if it's not locked up we'll try to get it running if it is locked up I'll show you we'll do some tricks on it tomorrow to try to get it to to uh, to unlock so if we can if the engine's absolute toast then you know I'll just part it out or build something out of it you know But you know it's got, I think I remember seeing two coils on it, stuff like that. So I can part it out and make my money back. But I figured for 50 bucks, sometimes you got to take a chance, you know. 50 bucks can be worth 500, 50 bucks can be worth 5 dollars, who knows. But uh, sometimes you just got to take a chance and I felt comfortable with 50 on it. I wouldn't win any higher, but I was telling her it was funny when he said 50 last night during the live stream. I was like... She said, that's what you told me. Because she asked me, she said, where would you feel comfortable at? I said, I'd feel comfortable taking a chance at 50. 
She said, well, I'll offer him 50. I said, well, I'll see if he wants to sell or see what he's got in mind. And he had pretty much the same thing in mind as me, so. All right, well, I'll kick you back on when something else happens. We'll finish my cigarette and uh, monkey's still asleep or mom's still asleep, so. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. Tractor's here. issue there I think what we're what we're going to do shit no key I might have a key for that uh, if not we can hotwire it for now throttle this is you know what makes it turn left and right well let me see if I got a key 
I just want to make sure that this thing is not locked up. Big ass engine on there. I'm not seeing many shavings in that at all. Actually, what I'm seeing is is normal. Um, I've put it in park. PTO. Stop the PTO. There's what it is, guys. I'll give you. It's a twin track 2000. Like I said, it's a little on the rough side. It's got some belt issues, which they're not cheap, but they're not real expensive either. Um, apparently, this can come off, this deck will come off, and also it's got this wheel on the back. So. Um, see this is what I'm concerned about that it's gotten water into it into the carburetor I don't I didn't see any water down in the oil but if there's any water in it, it's probably sitting on top of the pistons so I think what we're going to have to do first of all is uh, let's see if it's locked up or not We'll see if I got a key. If not, we'll just have to uh, we'll jump across and see if we can get it to turn. Um, I don't know which one of these is hot and which one's negative, but just have to find the one that goes to the ground. <clears throat> There's a uh, one of the plug wires. There's a plug wire, twin cylinder, not sure what size it is. That would be, that's not a V-twin guys, that's an opposed twin. That means, it's kind of like the old Volkswagen engines, only it's a two cylinder. One cylinder is this way and one's that way. To where the V-twin's like a V, like a V8 or a V6. Okay, so, let me see what, uh, let me go get the battery charger. And, um, so if I got a key, we'll find some way to bump it over. Uh, we'll check it out. The coil is not mounted in. Um, I don't think this one has to be grounded, so I think it'll be alright like that for now, just to see. Right now, we just got to find out if it's locked up, okay? So, let's, uh, let me go get the battery charger. This looks like, what is that? What the hell is that thing? So here's one of the plug wires that went over that way, over to <laughs> that cylinder. It's cut right in half. It almost looks like somebody cut it, but it may have gotten into the seat and pinched and cut. That could have been an issue. Let's get some stuff out here, all right? I want to show you a couple things. The engine is not seized up, so that's good. Also, it's got a key. This is the key out of my tractor, which had an extra one on it, so we're good there. Right, Choke cable, of course, is locked up. It's going to need some penetrating oil. All 
don't know how much of that I got. I just dropped the camera. Anyway, here we go. We've got we've got a key that works. This is out of my tractor, and it has an extra one on it. So good. Uh, so anyway, the choke cable is locked up. Of course, here's the choke cable, and it is not seized up. So feels like it's got some compression. Get a battery charger out here. We're gonna plug it in and we're gonna see what we can do with this thing. Uh, this, I believe, this is un to unlock it to tow it, okay? Which they didn't have it unlocked. He couldn't remember how, but that's how you do it to unlock it if I, if I got a port or tow it. So. These are the hydraulic pumps there and there for left and right. Um, I'm not sure how the PTO works. This is the PTO here. So it just tightens that belt down. See that thing moving? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this belt off, clear off of it because it's twisted anyway <clears throat> like me it's a little twisted all right so let's um i don't know if i can get a full revolution on that or not but it is turning so i can't turn it any further than that Let me get the battery charger plugged in. Let's see what happens. All right, we've got it hooked up. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on to charge. That's on 40 amp. That might be enough just to see if it'll. Okay, that might be enough to see if it'll crank it over. Let's find out. Watch that pulley right there. not locked up let's do 200 amp start all right now I need to check this puppy for spark all right I'm not seeing any spark so could be, could be a coil issue. It could be a number of things. Um, could just be rust in it. Um, but let me get my spark tester. I'll be right back. Let me get my spark tester. We're gonna, we're gonna check it for spark down here at the coil. All right, I'm looking. You guys probably seen me use this before. I'm looking for a spark right there on that thing. No spark. Now I got to get my test light, which I forgot. I'm going to check some of these wires. Um, I'm betting that what we're going to have to do is we're probably going to have to pull this side off. Pull the side cover off and check and say I don't. Let's see, I can't remember if this got points. I think it does. Um, it's got a condenser on it. Let me back you out a little bit. So, still don't know what the hell this is. Whatever it is, it's got a condenser right there. I'm not sure what this is, but. Uh, let me go get a test light and a multimeter. Okay, in order to get down to the flywheel where the points are at, I'm going to have to pull this whole side cover off here. I'm not sure where it goes at up in here, but we got to pull this whole side cover off to get the side cover of the engine off. So what I'm going to try to do, 
I'm going to try to pull it with her John Deere over there behind the vet so I can get some shade. So that's that's where we're at. I've done some testing here. Now it is, I don't know, I have to do some research. It is reading ohms on this, on the coil. So I don't think the coil's hurt, but it did feel a little warm. But, uh, so I don't know. That could be the issue, but I'm thinking the points may be stuck. I don't know. Um, we're just going to have to see. So I'm going to try to get this thing over there by myself. So hang tight, guys, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, here's what we're looking at. I did get it to get sparked, but there is no compression. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, we'll have to pull the heads off and see. I think it's a sticking valve, and I think we can fix it just by pulling the heads off of it. Uh, I'm going to try to crank it over a little bit, maybe put some oil in the cylinders, but uh, I don't think that's going to do it. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to going to start with this head. I'm going to try to do it without pulling this whole side panel off over here. I did get a couple bolts out, but I really don't want to pull that side panel off if I don't have to. I think I can get down in there, but I'll have to see. So, let me see if I can get Let me see, I've got a little, this here, I think there's only one bolt holding it now, um, I'm going to take that off, see if I can get to the head bolts, now if I can, I'll pull the head off. Okay guys, see all that down under there, that's water, that came out of these bolt holes, I've got one bolt left on this head, so I thought I'd go ahead and take it out so you can see let me get you on a stand uh, I did break one I should have took a little more time with it probably would have came out but one of them did break one of the head bolts which I don't think it's gonna to be too much of an issue for me because it, it was turning so I think I'll be able to get it out okay all this water in here I'm surprised any of them came out one of them did pull some threads on the way out. We'll just have to inspect that once we get this off of here. I believe I do have a bolt to put back in it. Good thing they weren't any longer. I wouldn't be able to get them out of there without pulling the engine out. I don't want to do that. I would like to get the engine running, however. Make a hell of a go-kart engine. All right, let's look at the head first. Oh yeah, has some water and stuff in it. Now let's look at the cylinder. There's the cylinder. I know for a fact this one didn't have any compression because I, uh, I put my hand over the spark plug hole and uh, couldn't feel any compression. So let's turn this over. Uh oh, look at that. The piston is not turning guys. This engine is roached. The piston's not going in and out. So, not good. The valves are working, however. I was going to mention that too, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to jinx myself. I was going to say, well, it could have a burnt piston or something, but that is weird. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to be pulling this engine out. 
or not I mean is it really worth it you know I mean it could be overall it doesn't look the greatest but everything seems to be in good working order except for the engine so I was hoping it was a stuck valve but very unfortunate it's not I just wonder if just wonder if the other side's the same way um So I feel something, feel some suction through the carburetor there, but here, let me get you over here. Maybe see it a little bit better. There's the piston, should be going in and out right there. There's your valves. Uh, valves are working. I'm, damn, I was hoping it just a stuck valve. So, I don't know. Well, there's that. Right now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I may just part it out. But before I do, I'll probably go ahead and pull that engine. And we'll see if it threw a rod or, or something. I know it didn't throw a rod through the block because it's still full of oil. Um this piston is shot <laughs> it's shot it's not stuck I won't say the piston shot I'm betting it's something to do with a rod I don't think the crank broke because no the crank didn't break I'd say it's a rod but it might be worth pulling out and checking out uh, I mean it's definitely worth that but I could sell I could sell the, the hydraulic system off here for a couple hundred bucks pretty easy so there we go so there's monkey hey. hi monkey Hello. all right so I want to say Shea Bear the Myth Man a legend are you hungry yeah okay I gotta go make supper so Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll chat at you soon. Bye-bye. Say bye, Monk. Bye.